Gillette, a razor company whose ad team isn't very sharp, decided to go full social justice warrior in a recent commercial condemning toxic masculinity. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. Toxic masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is taking over it's been going on far too long. The main point of the video is that men are encouraging a culture of toxic masculinity. When kids are play fighting in the backyard, men don't step in and stop the play fighting. Instead, they mindlessly repeat the mantra, boys will be boys. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault. So these boys grow up to be bullies and misogynists. The solution is for men to intervene. If you keep kids from play fighting when they're young, they'll grow up to be men who stand up to bullies and misogynists. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. As of this recording, the video has been up for a couple of days and already has over half a million dislikes. Most people hate the video. The video's defenders are basically saying, well, Gillette is simply condemning bullying and sexual harassment. What's the problem? Critics of the video point out that Gillette is laying the blame for these behaviors at the feet of dads who encourage this culture of toxic masculinity by saying boys will be boys when their kids are showing signs of developing masculine traits. Critics of the video also insist that if you want men who stand up to bullies or who stand up for women, you need men with some very masculine qualities. If some guy is beating his girlfriend, the kind of man who is going to step in and stop him is going to be assertive and aggressive and courageous. These qualities are developed throughout life, even in childhood, during play fighting, or sometimes real fighting. So, the critics claim, boys should be encouraged to develop masculine traits alongside a moral code that views bullying and sexual abuse as wrong. The response of the day, however, goes to Imam Tawhidi, who sent this tweet to Gillette. Hi, Gillette. I can't find your video on men who force women to undergo female genital mutilation, force their wives and daughters to wear a burqa, kill their women for leaving the religion, rape their wives because their imam allows it, form rape gangs across Europe. Thank you. And with this tweet, Imam Tawhidi exposed not only Gillette, but the SJW movement in general. Gillette draws attention to some problems in society. A guy says to a girl, smile, sweetie. Smile, sweetie. A man tries to explain things for a woman. What I actually think she's trying to say. And Gillette traces these problems back to their origin. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But there are bigger threats to women in the world than a man saying, smile, sweetie, or explaining what she means. There are places where men will throw acid in women's faces for not dressing like a frumpy ninja. There are places where a girl will be beaten to death by her own father and brothers for walking down the street without a male escort. There are places where women are in prison for being raped because they couldn't prove that they've been raped thanks to the legal restrictions on the reliability of their testimony. There are places across Europe where gangs of men believe that it's perfectly acceptable to rape young girls as long as these girls come from a different religious background. If Gillette and the social justice warriors and feminists who took over their advertising team are really against toxic masculinity, we all know where they can find a lot of it. And yet, not only will these social justice warriors and feminists never condemn the world's greatest source of true toxic masculinity, they'll attack you for condemning it. They'll call you a racist and a bigot and a hate monger for condemning the ultimate source of toxic masculinity. And that's how we know that Gillette's real goal 
isn't to protect women or to stop bullying or to help men become the best men they can be. Instead, they're posturing. They're trying to show everyone how woke they are, because it will earn them the praise of SJWs and get their business prominently displayed on all the woke websites. They think it's going to make them money through cheap advertising. This shows, yet again, that the businesses that are making these kinds of commercials are not SJWs. They're SJPs, social justice profiteers. They don't have the testicular fortitude to stand up to an actual bully, an actual oppressor, an actual abusive ideology. That's why they direct their hostility towards dads barbecuing chicken in their backyards, not towards dads barbecuing their daughters for wanting to think for themselves. Gillette, the lowest a bunch of money-grubbing cowards can get.